All right, so let's get this reverse started. So basically, this is a guide to replace the Acer Chromebook 15 CB3-532. Um, so this model is actually the N15Q9. Okay, so it's one of those um, Chromebooks that's out there. I have this in for a client, and let's get it started. So basically, you're going to need... A Phillips screwdriver, you can use a number one or a 1.5, um, similar to this, that you can use to take out the screws. And then you'll also need some type of opening tool or a spudger. So I have a few different ones here that I normally work on. Um, so if you have any of these um, there, they should work. All right, so let's get started with this actual repair you want to go ahead and start working your way with the front bezel. So open up the top. Make sure that you disconnect the battery, if anything, uh, if you're working with this, if the battery is not dead or fully dead. In this case, um, this battery is completely dead. So we're going to work our way to start up the top here. And you want to just work your way and pry. So pry slowly until you hear the clips um, start to fall apart right there right and um basically just going to take apart the bezel itself be careful when you get around the camera here as well um so there you go if you can pry it up open it's going to work your way around very easy to to release the clips recommend using a plastic spudger when you're using when you're working on these type of um repairs because it's it does not scratch the device Once you have this off, you want to set it to the side. And then you're going to go ahead and work your way for removing the screen. So if you look at the top, you'll see screws right here, as you can see. So right here, you'll have a screw that you want to remove, actually right here and then right here so the outer side is the bezel you don't really need to take that piece off right there's a screw that's holding the actual screen itself that's on the inside so you want to make sure you take those off so one is black and one is a little bit shiny look for um chrome focus on taking the chrome one out if you take the black one out you're actually taking the whole bracket on the outer side out Okay, so you're going to work on the internal screws right there to get those up. All right, so once you have those out, um, you can actually see the screen itself. It's easy to 
basically lift out the screen it folds down and then you can really just go ahead and take the spudger and release the back end if you don't have the battery disconnected now you want to make sure you check before because you don't want to short circuit anything else so like i said before make sure you check the batteries out first um for this repair there's no lights there's no battery on and the battery is kind of dead so it's okay to just go ahead and do it but regular repairs like i said before always go with taking the battery out and making sure the device is completely turned off so right here i want to go ahead and release using your spudger there's a small piece of tape here you want to be careful also when you're removing this So that you don't pry too much or too hard um, but this plastic is just shielding and holding down the actual connection for it and then from here it's a simple release if you push out there you go and the screen is completely out this is the old one right it's dead So since I do have a little bit of um, dirt around the area before I actually put this back on, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean the surface real quick. So I have some alcohol prepad that I'm going to use. And I'm only doing this because I don't like to work on a dirty device for my customers. I want to make sure that I'm giving them back something that is actually quality and is cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean around the bezel just a little bit before I go ahead and put it back on. I will also be cleaning this out and giving it a nice good um, tune up before we return it to the customer as well. So there you go. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and open up our box and get our new screen. Double check to make sure you that it's the right one. So sometimes you can order these screens and they're not the right one, and then you end up having to send them back or whatever. So it does seem like it will fit. 
perfectly. Um, right here though, the there's like a little bend. If I compare the two, you'll see that these are actually flat right there. Um, with this one, I just have to try to straighten these out a little bit just to match up the old one. So like this right here. So I'll get a piece of pliers or you can just try to use your finger to try to see if you can straighten it out. And sometimes it's easy to um, just verify, hopefully, that it is the same device right there. So they look alike. They should be the same. So let's go ahead and, and do the installation. So do everything back in reverse. This, you just got to make sure that it is actually secured properly. You don't want to pry too hard. And then just go ahead and and then now we can just go back and put it up. So. So now it's time to put our screws back in. That is good. Alright, so seems like um, everything is good to go. Now, for the bezel itself, internally, I want to clean this off a little bit so. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off also. So let me pause right here and then I'll be right back. I want to clean this a little bit. All right, so I'm back. I got the bezel cleaned up a little bit before I start putting it back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove 
the plastic from the screen. And let's go ahead and just apply the bezel back on. From here, it should be just snap in place. That's it guys, so now I will just be cleaning up this machine, but that's basically it. Um, spare me while I clean this machine up and then let's test to see if it works. system is back on so mouse is moving and everything um, by the time I touched the power button it came on so that shows that the device is actually working so thank you guys so much for tuning in I really appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell button I really appreciate it it helps us to grow and also it helps us to keep posting contents like this to help out the community as a whole. We appreciate everything you do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.